Now, in this week's edition of the Business Review, we turn the spotlight on two beekeepers who are promoting mass pollination while satisfying local honey demand. Andrew Laidley reports. This is a family-owned bee farm in St. Elizabeth. It's the home of Bee Sweet Brand, a company founded by Yannick White and Aaron Taylor in 2018. The core business involves reaping and bottling honey for consumers. The business has been growing steadily, but things were not always smooth sailing. We started out small, so we basically outsourced. We rented some of the equipment, like the like some of the equipment for reaping honey from our hives until we slowly reinvested you, you sell your stock and then you slowly reinvest and build a business now the entrepreneurs are looking to expand to be honest we can't yet fully satisfy the local the, market yeah the local <laughs> demand at all none at all and the goal is to continue reinvesting, expanding, expanding our APRs and just grow the overall network so that this thing can be more, more and more sustainable because we do want to become a business that eventually contributes to our country's gross domestic product and hire more people. They work with six team members to get the products to market. But that's not enough. It's why they are making this cry for help. We need more people to come in who are genuinely, wholeheartedly into this, not just for the money, can't just be about the money, but also the holistic approach of it, what you're doing for the environment, what you're doing for your country, can't just be about you, you have to put country right. first as right. well. And we are definitely patriots there. That's, that's really the main thing. It's a good feeling deep down when you see what you're doing. More than $2.5 million has been invested in the business, but they admit there are challenges. We lost quite a few um, hives to, yeah, yeah. to red ants. Yeah, that and, was we had to, and we had to build back. Another thing is <coughs> water. Where we have our apiaries is, is mainly on the border of Manchester and St. Elizabeth. And there seems to be um, the infrastructure for water in those yeah. areas. It's very, it's very poor. It's very so we, we have to, um, unfortunately. unfortunately, we have to spend money mm -hmm. on Water. Those obstacles aren't enough to stop these beekeepers from thinking big. We're looking to do various forms of automation, having a production line, um, working with our local banks. Um, for We should be financing, we should have a staff complement of at least, I would say 25, 30, we should at least penetrate five Caribbean countries, at least two continents. Uh, let's just say the US and Canada, for example, although Europe is really into artisanal products. In the meantime, the beekeepers had this advice for aspiring entrepreneurs. I would just like to add a message to all the other entrepreneurs out there, whether you're doing beekeeping or not. Even though we need more people in this field of agriculture, don't stop pushing, maintain your discipline. Um, obviously, the pandemic is, a, is affecting everybody, but you have to take an approach like we're pandemic as well. <laughs> Keep your head down, look forward, and focus on the light at the end of the tunnel. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.